Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the solution to the first clue in our first ever treasure hunt. So I've pulled up the page on the treasure hunt website, and this is what you're presented with. So pretty much all treasure hunt clues present you with a paragraph of text and some sort of muddled combination of either letters or numbers. And usually you have to try and unmuddle those letters or numbers, pair it with the paragraph of text and try and answer the question at the bottom. So the first clue says, everyone thinks my mate Dave is perfetto, but the truth is he's missing something. Scrambled letters, what is Dave missing? So there are a few things just looking at the text in this clue that are interesting. So it's written in a kind of informal English way, but there's deliberately an Italian word dropped in there. So as a starting point, just checking what the hell perfetto means. Okay, so it means perfect in Italian interesting, should provide you with some clues. So as a starting point, we're already starting to think, okay, we've got the word Dave, we've got some reference to Italy and, and kind of perfection and something being missing. Okay. Now, anytime you see scrambled letters like this, the most common way of unscrambling them is to use something called a Caesar cipher. And what a Caesar cipher does is it just pairs each letter in the alphabet to a letter a number of letters previously or after it. So for example, A might become C, B might become D, or A could become Z, B could become A. So you're just shifting all of the letters along a little bit. And that's kind of the most common way of um, encoding letters. So um, I took the liberty of pasting this into a Caesar cipher solver, which I just found on Google. Um, and there, there are kinds of um, websites that decrypt basically any type of cipher like this. So you can normally play around and find um, different types of cipher that you might want to try. Um, and the classic Caesar cipher, I think, is seven letters. But um, this site lets you scroll really quickly through all the different variations. So if you put in those letters from the clue and just begin scrolling and looking at all the different shifts, you'll see that the only one that makes sense is something that says helical gnome, which kind of sounds like a load of nonsense, but it's always worth checking these things. Well, what happens if I put helical gnome into Google? Anything interesting? Not really. There's some reference to a crossword clue, which doesn't lead you anywhere. I had a look at that earlier. Um, and, you know, it's mostly just garbage. So, okay, we know that um, this must be significant. It's the only real two-word phrase that we've got from our scrambled letters. So what might we, what might we do with it? And so the other thing to, to think about every time you see a load of garbage load of letters is, well, maybe it's an anagram. So if you go into our anagram solver here, and there's loads of these online, hit submit on Helical Gnome, you get a list of things that might be interesting. And straight away, the one that jumps out is Michelangelo. We've just had reference to Italy with our perfetto clue. So Michelangelo, you know, that chimes pretty well. So if we go back to the clue, we think, okay, so now we've got some additional information which is Michelangelo. Does that fit or does that ring any bells when we look at the, the wider clue? Well, straight away, um, one of the things that we know Michelangelo is most famous for, and even if you're not an art buff, I think most people know that he has um, a sculpture called David, which is probably one of the most famous sculptures in the world. So all of a sudden <clears throat> you're starting to think, well, okay, maybe there's some connection here. And the best way to check if there's a connection is just to, just to use our friend Google. So type in Angel, Michelangelo, David, and then missing, and see what we get. So interesting, we get an article from the New York Times. Um, worth the read, but doesn't lead you anywhere. But then the second article we find is Michelangelo's David is missing a muscle. Now this is sounding pretty promising, okay? So maybe we'll try muscle. But we know this clue is supposed to be two words, so this is not going to work, but just to see what happens. So we'll try muscle. No, afraid not. Error. So we'll go back. Okay, let's get some more detail from this article. So if you're lazy like me, you can just search through all the versions of muscle in the article. And the one that's interesting is this one here. The artist achieved an absolute perfection except for that muscle in the back. So what it transpires is that Michelangelo's David, because of the block of marble that it was carved out of, is missing a back muscle. So if we go into back to our treasure hunt website, we say it's two words, lowercase, no spaces. Okay, so maybe we should try 
back muscle. Stick it in, and congratulations, you've solved the first clue. So it wasn't too difficult, was it? Got there in the end.